Jambo fellow adventurers, it's Mike Dooley. Maybe the final weekend I do these spiritual tune-ups. I need a little bit of rest. Just kind of giving you a heads up for next weekend, preparing myself. Um, today's talk is based on a question submitted by you all. I've been doing that all week long. Submit your questions below on Instagram or Facebook, however you're watching this live right now. And the question is, Mike, what do you think the hardest thing, the most difficult thing people are going through or that people face in these sacred illusions of time and space? And that's pretty easy, but it's not your first go-to typically. Um, the answer is not knowing the truth of who you really are how you got here, why you're here, what you can do with your time in space. The truth will set you free. Okay, now I'm gonna take this theory and give it some application in just a moment. But truly, the truth is, is it is, <clears throat> it is the ultimate soothing balm. It is the antidote to solve all issues and challenges. Um, it pierces the veils of self-deception. And the thing is, you got to have the footing, as I've shared before, that there is a truth. You cannot be of the persuasion. Everyone has their own truth. La di da di da. That's crazy wrong. Everyone has their own path to truth. And all paths need to be honored and respected. But that doesn't change truth. There may be an infinite number of roads to Rome. But none of those roads change Rome. And the truth is simple. It is knowable. It is benign, at least with regard to your life, your adventures, and your joy. The truth turns lack into abundance, financial abundance. The truth turns illness into health. The truth turns loneliness into friendships. The truth turns confusion into clarity. Whatever you want, truth is the key. But that doesn't mean you just meditate. That doesn't mean you just read books. That doesn't mean you just go within. We have these awesome physical instruments that channel our energy, that need to be out mingling with the world. Granted, we're in lockdown right now, coronavirus, but that doesn't mean that you're unable to reach out, explore, Circulate your resume on monster.com, if there even still is a monster.com. That's what I did 20 years ago to no avail. <laughs> Thank God. Um, you still got to do stuff. So let me take that question and give it some application to the craziness we're going through right now. You know, because another question that I'll probably, that I will now try to answer simultaneously to the first one is like, Mike, what do you, how do we mitigate and cope with the intense stress and uncertainty financially of what's going on in the world? I mean, there's all kinds of models, um, not just for the virus, but for economies and currencies. And, you know, none of us knows for sure what lies around the corner. Um, businesses have been ground to a halt, you know, like 15%, 16% of the United States is receiving or applying for unemployment benefits. This is gonna have ripple effects. You might be on a fixed income and then Mike Dooley comes along and says, the truth will set you free, turning lack into abundance. Applied truth, applied spirituality. What would truth reveal to anybody who started searching for it? First, theoretically, and then how do we use that? I've already shared a, a bunch of ideas, okay? you would find, oh, by the way, to my mates in Australia, good day, good day. I think it's nighttime there right now. It might even be tomorrow right now, but I do believe it's Anzac, Anzac Day in Australia. And I wanted to give that shout out right off the top, thanks to a tip from a Facebook watcher yesterday. Good day, mates. Okay, so what is the truth gonna reveal, uh, do for you? Uh, let's see here, here. You're going to find out you create your own reality. Okay. That is the truth. You're going to find out your thoughts become things. You're going to find out that you must take action vis-a-vis -vis the baby steps that I was just talking about. And the best news there is you're going to find out, this is what the truth is going to tell you, that you don't have to hit the home run. 
You don't have to know exactly what's going on as you move through the world with understanding. You just have to do the best you can with what you've got from where you are. And while I say you can figure out anything, and I do believe that, you know, as far as photosynthesis, as far as how gravity works, which is still an unknown, uh, electricity as well, you know, okay, you don't have to go there to be happy. So go where you can to be happy. Know what you're good at. Know what you want to be good at. Um, you're also going to find out that you're absolutely adored, that life is a miracle, that you're pushed on to greatness every single day, and that all is supremely well. Knowing that, facing financial hardship right now, no matter your age, being realistic, okay, you know, being as practical as possible. Granted, if you're 85 years old, you're not going to go out there and pound the pavement like you once did. But that doesn't mean there isn't a need and a place for you in the world right now that could, in fact, produce wealth and abundance. So here's a list of things that I have come up with that anybody in truth also worried about finances would immediately begin doing dots connecting. You would apply for all of the abundant financial aid resources that are out there today. Did you know Salvation Army is giving away rent money? Did you know that Goodwill and all of the others are rallying together and reallocating their funds and resources to help, just to help, because that's what they do? And you're on those lists, right? There's no shame in that, you know? Money is pure spirit. You had other priorities right now. You were you know, in limbo financially, go knock on those doors, get the government assistance. Uh, th there's a, a plethora of ways that you could tap into abundance of cash right now to make and meet during this uncertainty. So it's incumbent upon you to use the spiritual knowledge, the woo woo, to get out there and sharpen your pencils and apply for that stuff while simultaneously use this lockdown time to brush up on skills skills that interest you, stuff that you like to do, stuff that you used to be good at that maybe you're rusty on now, or brand new skills. For sure you'd be doing that. Also, you'd be applying for jobs online. Um, there's no employer these days that doesn't hire online. And there are plenty of industries right now who are hiring right now. Fortunes are being made right now. Far and few between, but it is happening to those with the right thoughts. <coughs> who are showing up, showing up, using the truth applied. Maybe this is a good time to relocate. You've always felt that bugs. You want to move across town, move to another neighborhood, move to another state or country. Use this time wisely for long term, the long term ramifications. Volunteer. Be active. Charities are in such high demand right now. As you are also circulating your resume, you could get busy, meet a ton of people on the service side and the receiving side while you do all else. I know a number of people who took charity work to the next level and they're directors of the foundation that they formed because they started out as a part-time volunteer. Hey, get involved, meet people. This is life. This is the dance. This is God I'm alive in the dream. And then finally, continue to think deeply. Go into meditation. Go for long walks if it's safe where you live. Uh, ask yourself big questions. Uh, pr prepare to be astounded. The number one difficulty faced by every single human being, to summarize, is not knowing the truth of who we really are how awesome they are, how unbelievably powerful they are, and how poised they are for the best of their life. And to apply this to your life now, as they say in religious circles, pray and move your feet. Apply it, show up, baby steps. There may not seem to be anything spiritual about your baby step, that, but then that's because you're missing that Everything is spiritual. You live in a paradise cloaked in the material. Everything's here to help you. I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for the questions. Post some below uh, and I'll check them out for tomorrow's mastermind. Uh, not mastermind. Spiritual tune-up. Tally-ho, everybody. Lots of love from Florida.